So we just finished watching a game or playing a game on playchess.com and we've decided to analyze it on Chessbase. So the first thing we do of course is open the program. Here we have a series of options, search games, search opening and so forth. What we want here is SD card. What this will do, even if you don't have an SD card, is open the files that are available on your tablet. In this case we can see we have Great Games which comes with the program. Kasparov 73 to 85, which is a file that I bought. Server played Birdman, which is the which are the games that I actually played, and server watched. Every game that you open in Play Chess to watch is saved here automatically. You can of course disable this, but by default it is on. In this case, we're going to open server watched Birdman. As you can see, we have a wide list of the games some of which are repeated and the reason is that we open and close them multiple times and of course the different files that we can immediately change to if, it's, if we'd like to look at different options. Now let's take a quick look here and let's just open Becca King Ultimate Born which we saw in the last video. Now here we can see that the options on the left are automatically taking up a considerable amount of room. We have the board and we have the notation. There is no option to close this menu on the left at the current moment, but there is a way, or let's say a workaround, to open the board maximized. And the way to do this is to go back, and here we'll click on board. What this does is that it automatically opens the last position or last game that was actually open, except that without the menu options. As you can see, we have the maximized board, which, in my personal opinion, is a much more pleasant experience. Now here we have the full game, which we can go over calmly as much as we want, and if we would like to analyze or enter different options, we can, of course. Here we have knight c3 and we can see bishop g7 was the next move. Let's suppose that we wanted to see d6 first. And it opens up a line which we can pursue. And so forth. Now I'm not proposing that these are the best moves, it's just to give you an idea. Now here we can of course analyze with the computer and ask it what it thinks. By simply swiping to the side. It's these little easy options of swiping one way, swiping the other, a click here, a click there, that makes it so easy and so pleasant to work with a tablet. And of course, as you can see, you can hold it in your hand, move it around, save it at any time. Let's suppose that we actually like this line and we want to save it. Just as we saw in the last time, we'll click on the little menu option here, to notation, and it's saved. When we swipe back, we can see that Stockfish 5 gives C5 as the next best move. The evaluation is 0, 011, 21 depth, and of course it's main line. We can of course overwrite these moves if we desire. If we would wanted to study the opening of this, for example the statistics, we're not sure that we played the best moves. What are the best moves? What are the options? We just swipe it this way, and it will automatically access the main online database of over six million games. And here we can see the statistics. Queen C2, H3, A3, in the order of popularity, the number of games. 57% is the percentile success rate by White's perspective, always. 41%, it's already better for Black. A3 has been relatively disastrous. And this is after Knight A6. This bars here indicate the number of wins, losses, and draws. So you can actually see the breakdown of that 57%. And, as you may have noticed, I accidentally, because of the sensitivity of the heat of my finger, pressed one of these options. What this does is, it will not only advance here, but it's actually entering this as a line inside the notation. And these options will be saved. I can also add actual commentary. I mean, here we just see moves. 
Let's suppose I wanted to say fantastic move, masterpiece. We long press it and we have a number of different options. For those of you who actually have Fritz or Chess Base on the desktop, these will be look, this will look very familiar. We have comment, take back, promote variation, and so on. Let's add comment. Here we can add, let's say, an exclamation point, which would make sense if it's a masterpiece. We'll place after the move, masterpiece. and we'll save it. Now we can see our comments that are saved here. If we would like to save our analysis for future reference, we just come back here and we will put save as. We can also change the names. Let's just say that you know we're playing with our pseudonyms. Our name isn't really Becca King or Ultimate Born. We actually have a real name. And we'd like to save those proper names. So we can click on Game Data we could change this to Nigel Short, for example. And we could change Ultimate Born to Anna Tolly Karpov. And change the dates and ratings and so forth. Save. Now, it's saved, but it's not actually saved on the file yet. This is just changing the information here. If we click now on Save As, we can choose a file, a database we'd like to save it in. Let's suppose we wanted to create a new one. We would click here, input the name of the database. We'll call this Analyzed Games. Click OK, and the file has been saved to it. There we go. And that constitutes the way we would basically analyze a game. We could do this with more analysis, adding further commentary, further analysis, and so forth. And that is one of the great pleasures and conveniences of analyzing on the tablet.